Good morning, it is Saturday the 9th of November and we are at Harriet Watt University in Edinburgh for Orium Park Run. I'm Douglas Mason, he's Craig Walker, this is Scottish Park Runs. So it's chilly again today, isn't it, Craig? After a slightly tropical week on uh, Butte <laughs> last weekend, we're uh, back to the really cold weather again. I, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously all right. I'm, I'm in shorts and t-shirts. Hi, I must be fine. I'm obviously <laughs> feeling the cold a bit more than you. I've got my hat, my gloves, my, my tights on today. Uh, although I've been not too well during the week, so it I'm going to take that as an excuse. It, has, it wrap was up pretty warm. cold this morning, and it's a it's a kind of biting wind. So yeah. Uh, Cool. Um, I, yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. This is only the second time that they've run this event, last week being the inaugural. So uh, this is our 53rd event. I think we're doing the first time as brief, so we should probably head over to that, Thank see you. what's what, and cool. then we'll get on with the run. Awesome, what's that? So I've got uh, Kenny Tyndall here with me. Um, Kenny, you were you were educated at this fine university, were you? Is that correct? Well, I certainly came here for four years, that much is true. Yeah, <laughs> so you have ran this course before, haven't you? You were here last week at the inaugural event. So you should have some top tips for us, perhaps a five-step guide. A five-step guide, I'll see what I can do. So uh, step one, just over there, you start here and it's an immediate right turn, uh, immediate 90 degree turn. So watch out for that. So you need to get up the front if you want to get out quick. Uh, step two, it's a pretty narrow course in some parts. Uh, I think if you're a mid-pack, you might struggle to overtake uh, maybe around the halfway piece, around the turnaround piece. Uh, step three, there was some chat last week about shoes. I think it's fine for, for road shoes. Uh, I don't think, I think you need trail shoes. Maybe if it's been snowing or something like that, you might need some trail shoes. Uh, but, but I think road shoes are fine. Uh, step four, it's pretty undulating. I, I mean, I went here to university obviously and I've run here a lot at work uh, when I worked down at the Gail and it's, uh, it's really undulating. I hadn't realised how hard it was. It's a tough old course. Uh, step five, it's a really strange tip, but in the Orium, they've got uh, unisex toilets, which is a bit of a surprise. Probably not great if you're a girl because you've got to share toilets with the boys. Yeah. But uh, there we are, that's five step tip for this park run. Perfect, thanks Kenny. Um, one last thing though, are there any steps at this park run? Well, after my last steps debacle, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm afraid to commit myself. There's sort of steps, I think. There's little wooden, wooden like, like you get in big hills, there's oh, wooden yeah. bits filled with earth, so no proper steps, yeah. but maybe a wee bit of steps when you come back after the turn up. Okay, perfect. Enjoy your run today, Kenny. You Cheers. too, mate. Thank you very much. Welcome to Orion Park Run. I'm Pam Williams, your run director today. I hope you all have a lovely day. It's a beautiful autumn morning. Thank you all for cooperating with the Car Park Marshal today. It's much appreciated. We can't use the Orion Car Park because they won't allow us to do the run if we clog it up. So thank you. The course is fine today. We've had someone check it. It's a wee bit frosty, so just watch your food time, but it's looking good. Remember, it's an item back, so we'll try and pass people on the left and that'll just keep it nice and orderly. Reminder, I don't think we've got an issue today, but no dogs and no buggies on the course for Park Run because it's not safe. Cafe is open in the building or at the hotel for coffee afterwards, should you want it. Have a wonderful day, it's a lovely race and a lovely morning. Go! Park run 
falling hot on the heels of University of Stirling Park Run. Seems to be a trend at the moment of setting up park runs in universities. It'd be interesting to see how many students actually attend or if they're all still on the red. out and back that was the turnaround point there two and a half k done now we just run straight back again that was those steps that Kenny was talking about just there I think they cared I know that we just met the other night but I can't get you off my mind not a smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you feels so special Pretty ugly from the minute that I met ya It's definitely quite tight after the turnaround point for the first, I don't know, five, six hundred metres after it So you have opportunities for overtaking quite low at that point. That has widened out again now. And the field has thinned out. There's a nice bit downhill section there as we're heading back around towards the finish. through the wall, finish line just up ahead now. Well done Pete. Well done Pete. Right Craig, uh, that is Orium Park Run completed, yep. number number 53, just one more to go now. Cool. Don't think there's any new ones on the horizon between now and then, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, how did you enjoy that today? Yeah, it was a lovely one, you know I like the, the trail courses, yes. and that was certainly fits the bill. Aye, absolutely. Um, I, I, it was a bit tougher than I was expecting mm -hmm. it to be. For some reason, I don't know, I just kind of expected an out and back, it'll be quite flat, quite straightforward, but you're, you're kind of always undulating, yeah. going, going up and down. And at the, 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 the turnaround, um, and you can just see like how far like back up you've got to go. It's like, uh -huh. I don't remember this being all down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's how it always goes, yeah. isn't it? You like, forget the downhill, and then when it's an uphill, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, I remember that now. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was quite tight after the turnaround yeah. as well, because it was at one of the narrower bits. And then once you got runners going both directions, you basically just have to kind of stay where you line. are and yeah. then it, it did open up again yeah. at about maybe three and a half k something like that sure. uh, as the fuel starts to thin out and the path got a bit wider and then you could start to overtake again at that point exactly, yeah. um i think coming into the finish was quite good it was mostly downhill coming into the finish yeah, as well was nice. which was yeah. which was quite a nice bit reward of, bit, of, uh, bit of breath back for the, the finish yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> big uh, pete's goals i was stuck on my shoulder for most of it um and he he went over 
overtake me at the end and I was like oh, I'm not having nope. this beat no <laughs> no so I uh, managed to just stick it in front of him but I it was it was good very cold today winter has definitely arrived I think yeah I think I was one of the few people wearing shorts and t-shirt yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah I certainly felt it by the end so uh -huh. yeah wrapped up warm now <laughs> cool I think we're going to go inside into the Orium Center as a cafe in there and get some uh, get some breakfast sounds good I so, need some tea yep Next week, uh, as we mentioned, Pleen, second anniversary, uh, and then in two weeks' time, up to Inverurie, uh, assuming it's not cancelled, I hear they were off today, so right, okay. the weather is starting to, to claim yeah. events now, so we'll have to see how that goes and uh, play that one by ear, but um, yeah, Pleen next week, again, if that is on, so uh, <laughs> see you guys at that one for the second anniversary. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bonus fact I forgot to mention earlier, Orium is Scotland's first O park run. So that's another another letter in the bag. So I think I've just got a J and a W left to get now as part of the alphabet.